Hello everybody, this is Adam here for A-Strings and we are checking out a brand new product from Didario. This is the Expand Pedal Board XPND. We don't know whether it's Expand or XPND. We're going to say Expand because that's way easier when we're dealing with it. But we are going to be unboxing and checking out this pedal boards. They were released on Valentine's Day 2022. It is now the day after that. and We've got them here and we're checking it out. Now a rumour has said that these are a self-assembly pedal board which is why we wanted to get in the room and show you because you may get one and expect it to be pre-assembled like you would get with other pedal board brands and manufacturers they are ready to go apart from a bit of velcro and maybe mounting a power supply everything else is is good to go so we wanted to get this open we wanted to show you what is in the box how to put it together I don't know how to put it together it's all going to be a learn we're going to learn together so this is the expand pedal box probably the nicest pedal board packaging uh, that you get. We get everything uh, here. Uh, well, you know, not everything, but we get most pedal boards here from suppliers. And this is probably the nicest packaging. Not that that matters once it's out and it's in a pedal board bag and you can get an expand pedal board bag for this. Uh, you're never gonna need the box ever again, ever, ever. It'll be recycled and that's it. So let's have a little look. Whew, smooth. So, so this is what we get. Okay, assembly instructions. So, the rumors were true. Now we knew. Uh, so there is some assembly with these pedal boards and we're gonna take you through what you have to do once we learn what we have to do. And it seems pretty simple. There's only two sort of uh, sections or uh, parts <laughs> to the assembly. Uh, and then on the back you've got your player circle points. If you don't use player circle points, you should. Uh, it's Dodario loyalty points and you can buy things through Dodario using those points. You can get them on strings and sticks and every, you know, everything. Anyway, that's that. So I'm going to take a look at this. This is for me, not you. Okay, so it seems pretty simple enough. Uh, these look like they are spacers or clips of some. Maybe they stop the board from going back in on itself uh, don't know with them and obviously we've got our allen key bits and the, the key itself for that there inside we have let's get that out otherwise that'll fall and make a noise uh, inside we've got our velcro so there's hook velcro here and here and all this is velcro together so let me just get some bits out for you Otherwise you're just looking at the box. What's the point in that? It's a leg. Adjustable, adjustable feet, so you can adjust the height, I guess. It looks like that's what you would do. That's a leg. Ooh. Oh, okay, nice. So, these are the rails. So as you can see, we've got our little expansion bit. It does work. I'm sure it'll work. We'll find out. That's our expanding sliding section there. Pre velcroed winner. Uh, that's always something to get uh, to get right. Is your pre velcroing? If you're using another power pedal board supply, there we go. I just pushed it from the inside. So that's the expanding rail on the inside. And back here we go. Both velcroed up, which is fantastic news. Uh, that makes life a lot easier for us. Uh, yeah, sorry. When you are making uh, pedal boards yourself, if they haven't got velcro on, put in the loop or the soft bit of the velcro on the board uh, can be tricky. Same thing, second rail, just gonna pop that there. And what else have we got? Inner leg, pardon, inner leg, that's gonna go that side. And then the outer with a little logo on there. So I believe that's right, that's my left hand side, that's my Right hand side, we don't need this by the looks of things. We will need these clips and we need these bolts. So let's move that out of the way. This is gonna go off to the side and hopefully all this is in frame for you. We don't need them for a little minute, but we will leave them there. Okay, so we need to pop these feet on. So let's start at the non-sliding side. So I'm gonna put these this way, very, very quick. This is going on to this side here. So I'm gonna need four bolts. Now the question is really, as I'm doing this, 
is having the sliding extending option worth the extra 10 minutes of construction? I would probably say yes, but we'll find out when we go. And um, I think we might grab a couple of pedals and just put it on so you can get an idea of size as well. But I'm gonna put these on, so this might be a fast forwarded section. So I'm gonna shut my mouth. So I should say, as I am doing this, everything is metal, made of metal. Uh, everything is very, very, very well made and very nice uh, to put together, all very nice parts. So uh, you're not getting a cheap design or cheaply made design. Is that even a sentence? Ooh, I don't know. You're getting good stuff. It's good parts. It's quality bits. Very, very nice. Okay, so the next part, so this is slightly different here. So there's obviously two sections. So as you can see here, I don't know if you can see that in the camera, uh, we're now, we've now got four bolts per side. Uh, looking at this, the inner bolts, we'll figure it out, I can't even, I can't do this. You can imagine, can't you, you take one look at me and you say, yeah, he does DIY on the weekends. Does he? Does he really? So, feet on the inside. I see now. You can see this now, can't you? So this obviously stays in the center when you expand the board. So, that goes on there, and then the expanding legs will thread through using the other leg, foot, whatever. Okay, that's cool. Explained. Learning as we go. Learning together. This is the first unboxing slash assembly video we've done. Is it not? Is it? I know we've unboxed things before. Guitars and things. And we've done pedal and amp talk throughs. Setups and stuff. We've never made anything. This is it, Tom. This is our this is our chance. We'll be doing life hacks on TikTok next. Brill. Let's get some more bolts. We need some more bolts. Are they called bolts? Are they called bolts? Tell me. I'd like to know. So when I go into the DIY shop next, and I flick my hair, I go, can I have some Allen key bolts? And they go like, ah, yeah, he knows what he's talking about. Oh, it's all hands, isn't it, today? Yeah. If you are watching and you look at my tattoos and you think, what a disgusting foul creature, then you're right. I am. No, it's, uh, it's a personal choice. And... Uh, there will be more to come, so if you don't like them. And if you have to ask the question, yeah, my parents gave up a long time ago. So, not on me personally, just on the tattoo front, you know. So, this is going on the outside of the legs now. So, I'm guessing, because this is now in the way, we are going to have to expand it ever so slightly to be able to put these bolts in there. This hasn't been a difficult setup. Uh, in fact, I'll do it this way, you can see it there. All I'm doing is I'm unclasping there, and you, you pull it out. What I have done, obviously, is not made it easy for myself. So, before you pop the second the outer leg on, it's the one that will attach to the expanding bit. So you'll have three, one, two, and your third one on the expansion there. Uh, the mistake I made, and we have just uh, sorted it out, is I had the expanded legs nice and flush in inside the, the original ones there. They were completely retracted, and then when you go to expand, which is just a little lever there, and you pull them out, 
uh, there was obviously not enough for me to get them out, so I've just done it for the video purposes there. Anyway, last bit, I'm sure, and then we'll figure out what these little clips do that I still have no idea. So, this is going to go onto this section here. So I do need a little bit more of the rail to be out. Let's put it there, give myself a tiny bit more of the rail. Same with the bottom one, little tiny bit more. And clasp them shut and then they don't go anywhere. Last little section for the mystery. Cool, so last two bolts and this, we're, we're done, basically. So these last two. That is our board constructed. Yep, there's nothing written on these to say what these clips are and what they do. I'll tell you what they could be for. Okay, so we think these are simply cable management thingies. There's two different sizes. Can you see that? Can you see that? That's probably better if I put them there rather than in front of my black fleece. Uh, you've got the stockier ones which go in the original section and you've got the thinner, wider ones which go in the uh, expanding section. Stocky, would you describe, describe a clip as stocky? Really? Uh, so all you need to do is shove them in and they clip in place, and that is rock solid, that's not going anywhere. So in terms of cable management, very, very nice. It's a very nice thought, that is, by Daddario, because they didn't have to provide them. If they are indeed cable tidies, if they're not cable tidies, what do they do? So I'm not gonna put the second one on, I'm gonna leave that off. We know what they are, what they do now, we think, we've assumed. So, let me get rid of this stuff. Keep it nice and tidy in the box, keep everything in the box. Nice for you there. And uh, let's have a look. So you've got your hook tape, they'll go on your pedals, ready for the board. So this is kind of, if we're comparing, it's probably pedal train nano size, uh, with the nano plus being probably here, roughly. Pedal train nano is what I use live with, uh, with, my, with my brand. So it's a, probably around there. It is flat to the floor, the Nano. Uh, you can get a slim power supply underneath, but it is flat to the floor. There's no raised bit. Obviously you can see that this is at an angle. You can see that there, it is slightly angled, which is nice. And pedal risers are available with this series as well. The Expand XPND pedal risers are available. Anyway, so like I said, Nano Plus is about there. Uh, and Let's see how, how far we can get. So, I'm gonna unlatch both uh, rails and um, I'll see how far it goes. So, it is stiff to start with, but I'm not the strongest either, so it might not be, it might be fine for you. So, uh, so what would we say? We would say nano is, nano plus is probably about there. Give or take. Uh, okay. That's my best, that's as good as you're gonna get on in terms of transformer noises. So, uh, that is it. So, lock them back into place. Now the one thing, no, that's not too bad. I, from this angle, it did look like it was slightly skewiff, but it's, uh, it looks, looks pretty good. So you're almost getting double the board uh, width. You know, it's, it's, it's nearly, nearly, nearly double. So I'm gonna just make sure that it hasn't got any more hidden inside. No, that is pretty much it. So that is that is what you're going to get there. Okay, so we have taken a selection of pedals from our shop and we are going to put them on the board just to see what we get in terms of space. I'm going to be generous in terms of space for patch cables. You know, I'll assume that you've just got a generic patch cable with a normal jack end rather than something low profile or pancake or that kind of thing. So uh, it gives you an idea. If you're really, really, really good with your real estate, your pedalboard real estate, you could probably squeeze more on 
uh, to this, but I'm going to give you an idea. So uh, I'm going to, no particular order, so we're not talking about pedal board chains here or signal paths or anything, so shut up. No. Um, we've gone with the Mini Wah uh, simply because uh, a big Wah wouldn't fit on two rails. And they obviously the expand there's an expand two, which is uh, I believe a three or four rail option. I think three, and that would be better suited to something with a full size wah. But because you can get the mini, we picked up the mini on this. So mini pedals are absolutely fine as well. You know there is a bit of room for them there. Now this is the interesting bit because we have this ridge here. You're probably going to want to sort of get something to fit to that ridge. Um, so I'm going to be, again, pretty generous, or try my best to be pretty generous with the space. Um, the Earthquaker is top-loaded, so that does help uh, ever so slightly. Not that this is uh, real-worldy or anything, because we're not plugging anything in, we're not hooking anything up. So, you know, that's giving us plenty of space there. Obviously, with the, the B-Tronics, we've got some controls on the side as well. So we would have to make allowances for that. But that gives you, I think, and I would hope, a good idea. You know, obviously that's limited to that little section there. But it gives you a good idea of what you could fit into or onto the large pedal board there. So I did have a look at the box. It is 14 inches when it's uh, retracted and 24 inches when it's out full, uh, like this. Uh, so it gives you a nice, nice idea and a plan. So that is... The Expand 1, that's putting the Expand 1 together. Uh, I think it's great. I think it's a good idea. I think you're only going to ever set it to a size and then live with it for a while. I don't think it's something that you're going to be chopping and changing regularly, I wouldn't say. You know, if you're, if you're out gigging a lot or you're touring, it's probably going to be one board you know, you've got a one board setup because why would you want to be chopping and changing so often? Uh, but it's a good, it's a good thing I think that you can buy the expand one. Say for example, okay, let's let's do the smaller board. So if you had the expand one as is, what can you get onto it? Say for example, it's your first pedal board. Uh, very nice pedal board for your first pedal board. But if it's your first pedal board and you're not really sure. Uh, what pedals to buy or you haven't got many pedals to start off with this might be the, the best option so just looking here this space is redundant you are losing this space if you are fully retracted uh, so it might be an option that you just kind of maybe have it out ever so slightly just just one just my thoughts so you know this is the Dodario tuner here that's good didn't even realize we were Keep keeping it in the family there with the tuner. Uh, so that's the Dodario tuner there. You know, we can go, you know, we can go wah comfortably. You know, we can have, you know, that's sort of a standard typical pedal size. You could probably be quite um, conservative with your, if you were conservative with your jacks, obviously these are top loaded, like I said before, and spacing wise. You know, you're getting four generous size pedals on there. Mini pedal wise, you know, you could quite easily have, you know, more standard, something like the MXRs, and then maybe tag a mini. You might have something like a Polytune mini, uh, tuner size wise. So you know, you'd be you'd be saving space here. So it is all, it is all about playing for space, and putting together pedal board is one of the things I absolutely love doing. It's one of I just think it's so fun uh, to to mess around and, and see where you can save space and create space and um, obviously playing through them in your signal chain. But personally what I would do is, because this is wasted space here, I would probably give myself enough space, I'm not strong enough, I'm not a strong man, uh, I give myself enough space here just for one more, one more there, just so that that section isn't wasted and that's purely what I would do. So that would probably be my little tuner platform and then I would build from there then. So, ba ba ba. Da da da. Give myself enough space for my imaginary jacks. I've got to do that. Um, and 
and we could probably get away with probably mm, yeah it's going to be something like a mini and and that so that would probably be my starter you might not have that many pedals you might only be running on four pedals in which case retract it get your four pedals on there um, and you're good to go but that's what i would do with this uh, i would just have it just purely because it's wasted space otherwise have it far out enough that you can put a tuner on there you know, like I said, if you've got something like a Polytune Mini, you probably wouldn't even need it out that far. You could tuck that in a tiny bit more uh, and you've got more space for other pedals in there then, taking into account your imaginary jacks. But that is it. That is the expand. So some assembly required, uh, but is it worth it? Yes, it is worth it. Absolutely is worth it. We have got these linked in our description down below, uh, as well as the carry cases and the pedal risers and all that sort of stuff. And I tell you what, we'll even put in a link to the pedals as well. Uh, we'll do a general link to the pedals and you can check out what effects pedals are here as well. Uh, but that is it. Uh, I really like it. If an idiot like me can put it together with two pictures worth of instructions, then anyone can put this together. I promise you, uh, it's dead, dead simple. It's robust, it's strong. You could see that I was struggling to sort of pull the pedal board out. It's not flimsy, it's not, it won't just fall open. You've really got to move it to get it expanded and contracted. Um, I think it's a great design, well made, good quality stuff. And um, this isn't a sponsored thing. We're just doing this. We're just doing this. This is they're not the Dario are not you know paying us or anything like that to do this. So all the kind words are what we genuinely think of these pedals. I am going to put a tuner at the front because it's bugging me that I haven't got a tuner at the start of my chain. And that is it. So, that is the Expand from Daddario, brand new for 2022. Check them out below. Other than that, we are A-Strings. We are a small guitar shop in South Wales in the UK. Our website is astrings.co.uk. We've got a Facebook, A-Strings Guitar Specialists. Come over, say hello. We do a live stream every Friday. Uh, myself and the boys in the shop take you around to show you what's new. And we've got our Instagram, which is Tom's Fantastic Videos and Photos. That is at A Strings UK. And that is it. Come say hello. Uh, you can find these and all of our other products on our website. And we'll see you in the next video very, very soon. That's it. Goodbye. <laughs>